I'm Chris Carter of the Locked On Steelers podcast. I'm here at Acreshore Stadium where the Pittsburgh Steelers came out with a 32-25 win in their opening preseason game of the year. Kenny Pickett comes out, throws two touchdown passes, the last of which came in a two-minute drill that got the Steelers the win in the in the final minute. It was, a, it, was, it was a really great night for him, going 13 of 15 for about 93 yards, I believe. Those two touchdown passes, no interceptions. He looked on time and in rhythm. Those were the most important parts for Kenny Pickett's game. I've been there. I've been Chris Carter of the Locked On Steelers podcast, and I've been there at training camp all, all summer long. And what I've seen from, from, from Kenny Pickett is that he's needed to get sharper, more on time, and understanding more of the concepts of the plays. He showed that tonight at Acreshore Stadium against the Seattle Seahawks. Granted, he was against third teamers, and that is going to certainly be taken into account. But for a first test, he passed with flying colors. Who else passed with all flying colors? George Pickens having a phenomenal touchdown catch from, from Mason Rudolph over the shoulder, tap toe tapping in the end zone. He was near unstoppable in, in, the, in this night. He also had a huge game. The Steelers altogether had a very strong night. The offense, all three quarterbacks, Mitch Trubisky, Mason Rudolph, Kenny Pickett, threw touchdowns on their first possessions of the game. Mitch Trubisky came out, looked in sync, looked on time, was able to was able to hit his man, throw, hit, hit, hit Gunnar Olszewski, who also had a really good night, starting with the ones. What's even more impressive about this for the offense is the fact that there was no Chase Claypool, no Deontay Johnson, no Pat Fryermuth, no Najee Harris four major players are what's going to make up the Steelers offense didn't play and yet somehow this Steelers offense looked in time on point and accurate all throughout the night the defense came to play as well granted they were also missing no Mika Fitzpatrick no Cam Hayward no Larry Ogunjobi no TJ Watt no Alex Highsmith this was a defense down several players and they also looked good in the first unit still some questions about some of the backup interior defensive linemen Henry Mondo not the best night in, in run stuffing uh same to go with Isaiah I'd say Isaiah Latimer actually made it made a couple good reps there but all in all I feel like the Steelers made a really important statement with this game to say hey we're making progress in training camp and if, and, you're, and if you're believing in what Mike Tomlin's teaching and the direction this is, is going there's a lot to be excited about I'll also say other players that stood out to me Miles Jack looking really solid when he was in there Devin Bush though Missed a really important tackle. We'll talk more about that on the full episode of the Locked On Steelers podcast where I go over the top players and the bottom players of this, this, this preseason game. But here at Acreshore Stadium, Steelers fans were very happy to see Kenny Pickett, who they, he was getting chance of Kenny, Kenny, very similar to how he was when he played for the University of Pittsburgh right in this stadium. We're going to break down his play even more, go over the things that went right, things went wrong on the full episode of the Locked On Steelers podcast. But for now, I'm Chris Carter here at Acreshore Stadium signing off. I'll see you very soon.